Welcome to California Wood Custom Woodworking. Thank you for stopping by my channel once again. As always, leave a like, hit the bell, subscribe, do all those things that, you know, we ask you to do as uh, YouTube people. Uh, today, the video I'm about to share with you is basically just a gallery of projects that I've completed in the past that I haven't put on YouTube. There are things that I've done where, you know, I, I thought it would take too much time to set up a camera, go through that whole process. And some of these I did even before I even thought about YouTube. So I just wanted to make sure that I could share them with you. If you see a project you like, please let me know. Uh, if you have any questions about how I built the project, maybe I'll build another one and then go through the process of how to get that project completed. So thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoy. God bless. And we'll see you on the next one. These first few picks are the beginning of my attempt to build a paddleboard. As you can see, it started very, very sketchy. I actually wish I had built this one with the right proportions because it turned out to be probably the best looking one at the time and it was disheartening that when I was finished there wasn't enough volume to hold me up. It probably would do great as a surfboard and I've always been curious about taking it out to the beach and seeing if someone would try to ride it and someday I might even do that. Some of the students in my woodshop class decided they wanted to attempt to make Aaliyah surfboards. This was my attempt. However, when I got it to the beach, it proved to be more difficult than I was ready for. I don't know how to surf in the first place. I suppose somebody who's an expert surfer would be able to get on top of this and actually ride a wave. But that's not me. This is a wagon I built out of mahogany and maple. I really like the way it turned out. Unfortunately, it's no longer in its current condition. In fact, it was abused and left out and I actually stripped it down and used it for 
another project. These are a number of skateboard decks that I built. Most of them have been given away or sold to people who just walked by my garage and saw me building them. The first doghouse here I did for a friend of ours who needed one. I sent her some plans and we went ahead and built it for her. The next one here is built out of reclaimed fence material that I got from someone who replaced the whole fence. I had a lot of this material and built this doghouse. This was also sold to someone on uh, Craigslist. This doghouse was actually started by a few of my students and we were kind of under the gun and we needed to get it done. So I went ahead and completed it. This is a Wing Chun wooden dummy I built for my nephew. It's a martial arts training wooden dummy. This is actually a shelf with a hidden compartment that drops down with a magnet release to hold a pistol. That little gray stone in the middle is actually the magnet release to open the case and, and drop down this pistol shelf.
I was sitting in my niece's bedroom and I was staring at this jewelry box. I said, hey, that's a pretty nice jewelry box. Wow, I made that thing. When I first looked at it, I totally forgot that I had made it earlier and had given it to her for a Christmas present. These are actually what are called wedding puzzles. The puzzle pieces come out and then everyone puts a little message on a puzzle piece in a, that's been in a basket. And then the bride and groom afterwards try to put the puzzle back together and read all the messages they've gotten from everyone who attended their wedding. I started with my first attempts at building a paddleboard. I thought I would end with the last two paddleboards I've built. There's another one in the design phase. I'm hoping to build it pretty soon, so look forward to that. This was a special day. I've tried to go back to Lake Tahoe and get on the water, and I've never been able to get there with a day that's similar to this one. The sky was blue, the water was like glass, just absolutely wonderful.